Peace, everybody. What's up? How's it going? It's so smoky outside out here. It's crazy. There's like fires burning on both mountain ranges that way, like north and northeast. Pay at National Forest, so there's a huge fire going. There's one over here in, uh, at Redwood or Deadwood, or is it Redwood? Redwood Reservoir, Deadwood Reservoir, Deadwood Reservoir, that's it, up there by Loman actually. Shows you how long I've been, it's been since I've been up in the mountains actually, it's been a little while, it's been a few years. Kind of weird too because I love the mountains so much, but I just have been, um, having to live on a budget for a long time, and um, hopefully that's changing soon because um, I've been making some moves to make that change and so, and, uh, uh, including taking on a new mindset and uh, new heart set and everything, you know. It's kind of like that frequency. You give off a frequency. We give off a, a frequency. If we tune into the right bandwidth with our frequency that we're giving off, we tune into the right bandwidth, the right things, we can manifest the right things in our life. Basically what we do is we just become an open, we open up to the spirit more and more of the flow of the spirit can flow through our lives and more of the goodness of the universe, the goodness of God flows in through our lives. And, uh, believe me, the Apostle Paul described it and said that uh, you, the, the blessings are so enormous that you, you don't have enough room to actually contain them. Now, you, has anybody ever lived that yet? And so I haven't yet, so I'm on the pursuit of that one. That's called abundance. And, um, it took a long time for me to catch this too, that abundance is godly. It is, it's also prosperity. Um, greed isn't. Greed's like, it's actually against the flow of the spirit to lower. I mean, sure, you can do things, you can be that way if you want to, but I, I choose not to be that way. I choose to be, uh, I, I like goodness, I like blessing, I like wellness, I like healing, I like having a healthy minded friends as well as, because you know, you have to surround yourself with wisdom, right? Uh, you surround yourself with wise people, you'd be wise. Surround yourself with wisdom, you, you know, you grow wise. You, fill yourself with wisdom you're wise you'll be wise in your days and, and you want to be you know you don't want to be unwise that's foolishness and look what that gets it gets everybody all whacked man i spent enough years in foolishness to know what foolishness is like and i don't like it it's a lower it sucks the energy out of you anyway so you know you're feeling like you're dragging butt most of the time when you're you're like i know i made all and you're thinking oh i've always made all these mistakes think about all the mistakes you made all the failures you've had when you start thinking about being a winner, winning thoughts, because you've had a lot of winning days too, a lot of times when you have overcome, you, you can you can count your blessings as one. Like, you know, this little Christian song we used to sing in church, man, when I was in Sunday school. I can't remember how it goes exactly, but it had to do with counting your many blessings, blah blah, one by one, something something something, and and there's a there's a, a there's wisdom in that. There's actual wisdom in that. It causes you to see how blessed you really are, which causes you to be thankful, which opens the door for the flow of the blessings of the Spirit to come into your life, that wellness to not just come into your life, but to flow through your life. Because Spirit doesn't want to just have that opening just for you. It's for everybody else, too. If you're doing well, everybody else is doing well. If you're doing terrible, everybody else is doing terrible. That's how it works. It's, the Apostle Paul laid that right out in Scriptures, but you guys don't believe the Bibles that you actually read and study and go to church to hear the preacher preach a sermon about his fist on the pulpit his Bible shaking in the air all fire and brimstone and he's still not listening to the sermons you're not listening to what he's saying there he's paying attention to it you know Corinthians Corinthians has a lot of spiritual truth in it man it's wild man how it's in a deep spiritual knowledge in there it's rich free it's all for you it's all for anybody that can read it and understand it you know cool thing is, is there's, um, you, you have questions and answers in there too. You guys probably don't even know that, do you? But there are. There are questions to life and answers to life in there. There's a time and season for everything under the sun. That's in one of the books of wisdom that's in the Bible. You probably didn't even know that came from the Bible, did you? Some of you that are listening to this broadcast or listening to this video may not, but it did. It came from there, man. Solomon, he said a lot of stuff, man. Well, I like songs, and I'm sitting here worshiping the Lord for a second. And he says, turn your camera on, Daniel. And I'm like, oh, okay. Voice from the heavens. <laughs> All right, I will. So I did, you know. So we're going to worship here for a bit, okay? And then 
I wrote this song a while back when I first encountered the Lord. Um, I was asking the Lord um, if I, He could take me spirit walking. One day I was at my desk over here praying while I was reading and studying right in the middle of the day on a summer a few years ago. It was actually uh, 2010 or 11. I think it was 2011. Yeah. Anyway, right after we went spirit walking, I wrote a song called, I think it was then, maybe it was earlier than them, I think it was 2009 actually, but anyway, shortly after that, the idea for the song Spirit Walking came and some other songs too that came out of that. And I've had a lot of spirit time to spirit travel with the Lord and, and go places in the spirit, interactive visions, all kinds of stuff. And I don't know, some of you guys don't even believe in this, and some of you probably turn the broadcast off now, that's fine. For those of you that are staying on with this, we're going to do this song here and we're going to worship the Lord with it. What we're going to do is I'm going to press in. Is what I'm going to do is press in with my music like I was. And we'll see where the Spirit carries us, okay?
It's Yahshua. It's Yahshua, the Jewish carpenter dude, man. It's Jesus. It's him. He's alive. Open your hearts up and let him in, man. He just wants to love on you. Wants to give you everything. The whole, everything. The right to become a child of God, man. Of all things. Because we've been so cut off. Everybody was so cut off. It took, it took that much. It takes that much. Think about it, guys. There's no more sacrifices for you guys. There's no more daily sacrifices for you. What are you going to do? Your, your Messiah came. He came. He's the sacrifice. If you read the Psalms, you'll see it. He's the sacrifice. He's coming back, too, because he, was, he had to die to rise. He had to, to rise to get, to get where he's at in glory, so that he could have the headship over everything. Don't you understand? He's your Messiah. It's Jesus. Bless God, everybody. Shalom. You guys all have a great day. Peace out, baby. Bye-bye.